Привет, guys! How is it going? My name is Fedor. Today is practice Friday number seven, talking about possession. You guys have been really consistent with, you know, this practice Fridays. So I'm really, really proud of you. And today we're going to talk about possession. How to say I have, she has, he has, they have, and all that kind of stuff. And you can already hear my laptop over there. And today uh, I decided to use my laptop instead of my iPad, just try different things and try to see what you guys think about that. And don't forget at the end, please put your you know, opinion on this. What you prefer better, iPad with me like actually drawing on it and stuff or a laptop because I can still kind of highlight things, draw on them. So it's kind of like the same thing, but it's a different outlook. So don't forget to let me know what you think about that. Okay, so Let's not waste any more time and get right into this. So here we have the exercise possession. And some of you might already know that in Russian there's a special way of forming um, possession. Like I have, she has, they have. What we say is there is something at there. So, uh, or, or at him, at her, at me. Kind of like that form. If, if you just translate that word to word, that would mean there is something at him, at her, at me, at them, okay? <coughs> <coughs> and so, let's just translate all these uh, phrases on the left side. I have is у меня есть. У меня есть. You have is у тебя есть. У тебя есть. She has у нее есть. У нее есть. He has У него есть. У него есть. We have у нас есть. У нас есть. And finally, they have у них есть. So, as you can see, the only thing that changes is the word between у and есть. Because у is at, есть is to exist. So, um, something exists. So, есть would be exist. Oops. Let me actually select the, the drawing tool. So that I can, you know, draw on it real time. Okay. Yes would be to exist. У меня would be at mine. So, у тебя at, uh, at yours. Yes to exist. Etc. Right? So, this is kind of how we form uh, the possession. We don't say я имею, which is uh, I possess something. Because possess is something different from what I have. Okay? And now, guys, exercise itself. You see this picture, right? And it's your task to tell me in the comments down below what this guy has. Using Russian, uh, Russian language, of course. Don't tell me that in English because I can see it myself, right? So tell me in Russian what this boy guy has. You know, you can say he has... Uh, whatever, black hair, he has watch, he has whatever. So just tell me what he has, because I want to know. Then secondly, tell me what this young lady has. Maybe it's her um, clothing, maybe it's her hair again, maybe it's her books, up to you. Then thirdly, tell me what these guys have, maybe, uh, maybe even what they're doing if you want to. But main focus is what they have, possession. Practice Friday number seven, possession. Okay, so tell me about possession. And then finish it with telling me what you have, like your possessions. For example, I have uh, this jacket, I have blonde hair. У меня есть черная кофта, у меня есть белые волосы. Then tell me what your family has. You know, uh, that would be we have something. And then thirdly is tell, describe something that your friend has as if you're telling him that. Uh, and that would be like, у тебя есть, and you count things that he has. This is just practice Friday, guys. It's not tell me everything about you Friday. So don't reveal your family's darkest secrets. Don't tell me something that you don't want me to know. Uh, you can come up with anything you want. It's just like in the free form. It doesn't have to be true. But I do want you to practice this. I do want you to, you know, uh, even for yourself, just try to come up with some sentences and put them all in the comments down below. You'll get a shout out in the next Practice Friday because I think that your efforts must be rewarded and acknowledged. So, 
If you do this and you don't send it to me, it's fine. I just want you to complete this exercise. It doesn't matter how you do it. It doesn't matter if you make any mistakes. Just practice. Practice will make you fluent. Anything else will not. And here are the people that did this practice Friday again last time. I'm not going to read them all out loud because I don't have that opportunity right now. But they are all on the screen. And if you see yourself in this... I'm proud of you. I'm extremely proud of you. I know that Ashish Prasad probably is in it. Um, I'm just guessing. I, I, I didn't. I, I didn't look. I'm just guessing. Keep going, guys. Keep doing the same exact thing. And next time is going to be on Monday. Next video, and I'm going to be talking about the verbs of to go. Or I have another topic is vocabulary of the garden that I showed you on Wednesday. So you guys, let me know. What you want to see better, vocabulary of the garden or the verbs of go, like go out, go in, go over, that kind of stuff. So let me know in the comments down below as well. And don't forget to also tell me which one is better, iPad or laptop. I'll see you next time. Пока-пока.